we got him right where we want him. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conrad. No, I didn't mean to. Welcome back to more Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. Last time we went through Chargestone Cave, at least as far as we could make it, until we saw that Bianca burped and broke the bridge. That's my headcanon, can't tell me it's wrong. This time we find ourselves right in front of Clay, our fifth gym leader. And oh boy, do I have torpedoes pointed at him and have him right where I want him. We got Aiden, we got Harmony being a flying type and thus immune to ground. We got Jade having a hundred base attack. McFly, okay, I could kind of go either way on having you. And, and Pignati too, but you know, we got, we got three good options of fighting you with. And we're gonna go with Aiden, the water type who doesn't even have a water move. I'm gonna fight you with that. Rumph, kept me waiting, did you kid? All right, time to see what you can do. You waste no time, you just get into it. You're a simple kind of man. You find a Walmart, then you'll find love. I can never not hear that in the Shinedown cover of that song. He's gonna open up with Krokorok, level 31, Gra ground dark type with intimidate for its ability, with the moves Crunch, Sand Tomb, Bulldoze, Torment. You can do nary a thing to a flying type, and fortunately my flying type is also a psychic type, so that ain't going to work all that well. And you're gonna torment me, but that's okay. I can totally one-shot you with my signal beam. Please. Yeah! What cr critical hits! <laughs> Aiden! Maybe it's just general good game balance that you don't have a water type move and that's why you don't. Sand Slash is level 31 ground type. Sand Veil for its ability. Crush Claw, Bulldoze, Fury Cutter, and Rollout. I have basically nothing that I can do to you at all, so I'm gonna swap in Harmony and hope to... Lord Arceus, that you do not use Rollout on this turn. I think you'll go for Bulldoze. Oh, Fury Cutter? Okay, that's fine. I'll take Neutral, da neutral, neutral Damage. Harmony's got Air Cutter. Got Reflect. Uh, let's lay down Reflect. Let's do that. I've been, I keep saying I'm a fan of these buffing moves, but I never really have an opportunity to really bust them out. Yeah, that's good. Oh, my defense fell. All right, all right. Well, that's half damage from uh, physical moves across our entire team for five turns. So even if Harmony falls, it'll still be helpful. Psybeam! Not quite enough. This looks like it's going to be kind of a long battle. Impressive, that's some strength you got. Air Cutter, maybe? This could do a critical hit and finish it off, or it could not do a critical hit and uh, it got him into healing range anyway. I was trying to avoid getting him into healing range if I could. Hyper Potion, saw that one coming. Play. You're a good example of this. The gym leaders were designed to go with the theme of diversity seen in New York City, which is why they're not all skinny, conventionally attractive people. Clay was meant to be a Japanese businessman who moved to New York City and just loved American culture. Uh, whoa! What's that like on the Schwarzenegger? <sighs> Get, uh, uh, Harmony, could you, could you be, could you be a little bit better, please? Um, without Reflect, you're not gonna be able to stand up to this with minus one defense. I want... <laughs> I think I gotta just hope for a crit and not die. No. Are you going to heal? No! Oh! Well, shoot, I was smart to attack on one health. Yay! Awesome! Got 28. No new move for us, not yet. Last Pokemon, the ace in the hole is Excadrill. No hard feelings, but I'm extremely stubborn. Level 33, ground steel type, sand force for its ability. Don't want to be using a sandstorm in this battle. Holding a citrus barrier at the move slash rock slide, metal claw, and bulldoze. I don't think I'm really going to be able to do much here, so I'm going to hope I outspeed- Nope! It just got serious. You took down Harmony. We'll go with, uh, we'll go with, uh, yeah, I'll go with Jade. No sense to bring out the big guns quite yet. We could save Aiden for a little bit later. Maybe even pick Naughty too. Go for a Bulldoze! Not so much to make it out. Whoa! I know I said X control is good. Wow! Oh, this is a tense battle. This is shaping up to be an epic night. 
Uh, go for another one? Okay, now, I was mainly doing it because I wanted, uh, another Pokemon to outspeed Excadrill. I wasn't thinking that Jade would. But I might have just one-shot it if I had gone for Dig in the first place. Aiden, get out there! Show him what you're made of! I'm going to be such a champ and take you out with a move of your own type! I'm using Dig on a Vaporeon! Bulldoze, I avoided the attack. I was wondering if that was going to be like Earthquake, but it wasn't! Go for it! Oh. Have you met your match, perhaps? Oh, that did exactly half health. I have leftovers. I have leftovers! Yes! Dig again? Or speed. Oh, you're faster now. Good. You just lost to a Vaporeon who didn't even have a water move to use against you. You should be ashamed to call yourself a master of ground types. <laughs> Aiden, you rock! <laughs> Man, oh man! It feels good to go all out, and I couldn't even read the rest, because I'm a country folk, and I'm less than educated. Phew! You're really something. Little whippersnapper trainers who keep a pack a real punch keeps showing up one after another. Here, take this! Blaze received the Quake Badge from Clay. So, here's your fifth gym badge, huh? If that's so, Pokemon up to level 60 will obey ya. Here, take this too. TM78 Bulldoze, a move that I have no use for at all because I already have it in my moveset. Well, I suppose, come this away. I'm just showing you up in every way possible, beating you with a ground move, already having the ground type you move on one of my Pokemon. Good dancers are crucial for putting on a good show. Uh, I ain't gonna be dancing for nobody, man. I ain't got those lot kinds of skills. You got a gym badge too! I knew you could do it! You know, my partners are the reason I was able to get that badge. But I'm sure there's more connecting to e us to each other than Pokeballs. If that's all there is, the stolen Perline's feelings will never be what they were. He actually learned from what Team Plasma was saying, how they're like, don't mistake your Pokemon strength for your own. Wow. Oh, so you two squirts know each other, huh? You both ain't bad, so I want to show you something. Wait, I just remembered. Clay. Why? What's the reason? Why have you forgiven Team Plasma? There's always room for folks to grow, grow and change, ain't there? And... If you only go after what you think is right, you might end up rejecting all thoughts and opinions rather than your own. That's mighty dangerous. <laughs> is that one of those compromises adults are supposed to make? Whatever. I'm gonna fight Team Plasma. Oh yeah, uh, what were you wanting to show us? You ever heard of Pokemon World Tournament? Trainers from all over the world gather on up to see who's toughest. Well then, I'll be waiting for the two of you at the south end of town. A tournament to decide who's strongest, huh? Right on! It's time for some special training! Ooh, he's all fired up! Or watered up in his case. Sounds gross. Unlike Elisa, Clay does not cheap out on us. He is fabulously wealthy, and thus we get rewards for beating him. We can now freely buy... Ultra Balls. Full Heals. And Max Repels! Technically, these are less economical per step compared to the Super Repel, as it's only 50 more steps, but I'm willing to make the sacrifice just so that we're not getting interrupted as often with the little text box popping up. And the rewards don't stop there! Big Stadium and Small Court have changed! The trainers here have level scaled and are now primo for training up against. Why is Abstrike a curse for me? This is the hardest fight I think I've done in the game up to this point. I have just nothing I can do. Oh crap, I have nothing I can do to it. That's not hyperbole. That's actually true. I'm gonna send out McFly 
and go for a light screen. I can't use electric moves against you because you immunize them and in fact get buffed from me using them. So I need to just lay down a light screen on this turn. In case you got a special move, I can at least prevent you from using that so much. I need to let McFly go down. You've taken out half of my... Well, I like pre-Gen 6 type chart mechanics. <laughs> Give me... Uh... Desperate times call for desperate measures. Yes, Kirby, I know. I'm not doing so hot. <laughs> we'll go for Dig. Just make it so that there's nothing that it can do to us. Using Spark, I avoided the attack. Aiden gets through this flawlessly with no damage. <laughs> Never mind anybody else. I mean, heck, he's taken out all of those team members by himself at one point or another. I don't know if he's... No, he didn't take out Jade, because Jade joined after. Even got a level up in the process. E even though I lost, I will not panic. 6,800, uh, that's uh, that's with the amulet coin, because Jade had that. I panic, so here, have this. Got a super potion. I could battle all these trainers, but uh, I, I don't, I don't wanna. I won't be chagrined at losing. I thought that chagrin was pronounced chagrin, and then I got corrected on it in my 20s, and I was like, oh, chagrin and chagrin are the same word. I heard chagrin spoken, but every time I saw it written, I thought it was a different, I need to just stop talking. Bianca hasn't moved in case you wonder. You gotta go see Clay's little sideshow before you can move on. This is all required stuff. There's an item in your bag you wanna switch. Just press select and give it a, a new niche. Doesn't that just jing doesn't that jingle take you back? I don't like how you can't use select to shift around the items in the free space because it's kind of where I'd wanna have the items I like the most at the top, the most. Give me a sody pop. Maybe it's the problem is the drink I'm buying. Let's buy a lemonade instead. Just show out that little extra cash. Show it that I'm really serious about our relationship. Nope. Okay. I'm uh, gonna put on the dowsing machine before anything else. If you keep winning, you get BP, which is to say, you'll win battle points. So save up lots of BP and exchange them for great items. Welcome to put. When battling in front of people, it's well known that you shouldn't stand on your stand. You should stand your ground and not dance around. But he said that you need good dancers for this place. But I can't resist moves the groove like pedal dance, quiver dance, fiery dance, and dragon dance. On rare occasions, even lunar dance. You have a Griselia? Dang, color me jealous. Got an ether right there. Now I gotta make you aware of something. We just we gotta we gotta get this out of the way, okay, guys. So, I'm gonna zoom in on the map right here. Yeah, you can do that. And the map shows this place as part of the mainland, but it's clearly on an island. We had to cross a bridge to get here. For the second game in a row, I might add. Boy, I hope somebody got fired over that. Literally unplayable. So cool tournament, huh? Oh look, a cave! Wee a cave! Better than any stinky cowboy tournament. I'm here collecting shards so that I can have my Pokemon, my Pokemon to be top moves. They can be found in dust clouds, but you'll rarely find a Pokemon instead. The Funfest mission Find Treasures has been added to the Interlink. I came to the realization that they give you Funfest missions at times where it would make sense to active. Wait, I can't. At times where it would make sense to activate them. Okay, maybe it makes sense to activate it like five steps away, but you know what I mean. They give them to you in places where you can easily get high scores on them at level one, even by yourself. Find treasures. We gotta find five items in dust clouds in three minutes. We'll get started on that, and as we do, learn about the new Pokemon of Relic Pet. Wow, that was lucky! This guy wasn't a trainer, but if he was, line of sight is blocked by dust clouds. Theoretically, in a perfect speed run, this means that you would never get an encounter ever. You could just have a dust cloud spawn in front of every single trainer that normally would be required in a cave. Well, okay, I guess you could skip trainers in caves, but not all trainers, period. Ah, uh, it's a wild Pokemon. Anyway, our first new Pokemon, Redicate. This is a Pokemon with some very strong points and some very weak points. Guts is an astounding ability, and you'll be able to get either a Toxic Orb or Flame Orb for free to make this ability work passively and block unwanted incoming statuses. Complementing this is good speed and pretty good attack. It gets Swords Dance immediately from a heart scale, so it lucked out being in the Move Reminder's hometown. It even comes knowing Sucker Punch, an 80 power priority Dark-type move that activates if the enemy is about to attack. 
It can learn U-turns, then headbutt, and wild charge even. There's more type coverage here than the usual Raticate Fair due to the very specific TMs that are available. Unfortunately, I would say that Raticate is still outclassed by other users of Guts around here, and it hardly ever gets to switch in due to its normal type and flimsy bones. Hey look, a better Guts Pokemon, Girder! Let's talk about the bad first, it requires training. If you can use this, it's a hammer, slamming down with rock and fighting moves. And what's even better is the Elemental Punches Tutor is right here in Driftvale City. 140 attack and type coverage that good? What more could you ask for? It might be slow, but it can take a few hits. Just pick its fights well. That isn't to say that its other ability isn't useful though. 1.3 times damage in return for no secondary effects. This makes it one of the strongest Elemental Punch users, makes Drain Punch a solid option, and Super Power is just that solid without any downsides. The only real disappointing miss is that Mach Punch is an egg move with no way to breed during the main journey. Overall, a solid Pokemon that takes hits and smashes through anything. My world is getting rocked here. <laughs> I cannot, Harmony is just not strong enough to not get encounters here with a Repel up, so I gotta swap in, uh, we'll swap in Pick Naughty, cause I guess you would have an advantage against some stuff in here. Uh, here, Repel's wore off. I'm not going to be able to get enough of these, I gotta pro- Well, my disappointment sure melted away fast right there, we got a Protein. I found a Wild Drillbur. Over here is why I needed Strutly. So I'll push that boulder in. Fun fact, there is a medal for pushing every boulder into every hole all around the world because they permanently stay in the holes after push down once. Yeah, that was really sad. Kirby, you don't gotta rub it in, buddy. We all know it was a bad attempt. What the frick was that jingle? It sounded like somebody just died. I mean, I guess in Mario they murder you for losing a penguin race, so it's not too out of the ordinary that they would murder you for this too within a Nintendo-verse. Hold up, did you know this path was supposedly made ages and ages ago? That's probably why they call it Relic Passage now that I think about it. Yeah, that makes sense. So what do you got, buddy? I feel really awkward fighting all these trainers with these specific types of Pokemon just because I don't have, um... Our, our movesets just are not really all that well filled out yet. Pignati having just Heat Crash instead of Flame Charge might be a mistake. I'm hoping that it's not- Oh, oh wait, no, never mind. I'm, I'm good against Rock type. Yeah, no. I take normal damage from it, I got tons of HP. It's so easy to forget that, because I don't really think about rock types attacking fighting types that terribly often. Maybe not that, probably just that fire type starter Pokemon usually aren't the answer against rock type Pokemon. Relic Passage is an interesting place. It might not seem like it because this has been true for both of the caves that we've gone into, but caves that give shards the swirling dust clouds of coolness are rare. This is one of only a few caves that does that. Take it if you get it, don't grind it. We got you covered with a far better way of getting shards coming up in just a little uh, Wow, the AI used Stealth Rock. How often do you see that one? <laughs> we already dinged you up a little bit, so we'll be able to dig underground and we'll be able to wreck the little pencil sharpener. Rock and roll a pencil sharpener should have suction cups on the feet so that they're more convenient to use and you know, they don't like jiggle around too much. I just think that. Uh, get our health back, and we'll just, uh, blast you away with a signal beam! Yay! Aiden doesn't need a water-type move to beat you, punks! That's why he doesn't have one. He's willingly weakening himself so that he's on your level! Okay, well just past the hiker, we get this opening. Taking us deeper and deeper. Get some water around here. I do gotta fight you if I wanna go through here. Alright, what's the damage, man? A lake that sp spreads beneath the earth, and a hiker who waits beside it! I'm gonna do something weird in this fight and see how well it works for me, because it's probably not going to work, but I have to try anyway. I started off with Defense Curl to raise my defense, and that combos into Rollout. I've been meaning to use this combo in pretty much every fight. I think that you get to start with... Uh, don't start with this. I think you start with the second stage of rollout rather than having to do the weak first stage. Either that or the damage gets doubled somewhere along the line. I'm not sure exactly how the calcs work. I'll show it on screen right now. By doing that, you can do more damage than you're supposed to with rollout, which is saying a lot because it's already such a strong move. 
I took that thing out in two hits, despite how weak we were against it last time. And he sent it out Tim Burton. We'll do it in a not very effective, and yeah, hit number four was able to just sweep right through it. Rollout is a move that makes a lot of Pokemon viable in speedrunning, that and Gen 2 Rage. Um, moves that have their power increased with each passing turn can really make uh, some longer fights a lot shorter than they're supposed to be. Really, really powerful, and I would not discredit it at all. I should heal. Let's give some Milky to my piggy. Thank you. Ooh, milk is so good. Yes, 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 we'll use the Repel. Blue Shard. We've only seen a use for Red Shard so far, but trust me, the other shards are quite good, and I'm excited to see what moves that we can learn from those as well. Uh, it's item down there. We got another Strength Boulder. Push that in. And then, oh wow, we got more of this. Yeah, we'll use another one, fine. <laughs> This is what I mean, but even though it's asking you with a text box, it's still kind of annoying having to do it every single time. It's coming, it's coming! The ancient spiritual power! What could it be? Are you the trainer with the Cresselia? Are they borrowing it from you? What Pokemon do you have? A Baltoy! <laughs> Already fought me plenty of them. The ancient power, the sacred power! I feel an extraordinary power emanating from up ahead. Yes, it's a power that burns as warm and as bright as the sun. Are you actually prophetic or did you just kind of, you know, go in there yourself and then move this boulder in front of it so that I would think you weren't in there? The lanes people go to trick people into thinking that they are psychic. It's kind of disgusting actually, some of the things they do. Welcome to the bottom of Relic Castle, only accessible in this roundabout way. I think with us reaching such a mystical place, we're gonna stop there. Next time on Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, we explore these ancient ruins and see what that mystical power was all about. See you guys then!